folks. I got woke up yesterday at 20 after 6 in the morning. The cat woke me up. And there's a reason why the cat woke me up. The cat doesn't like it when our power is off. You know, he gets used to all the, the noises or whatever. You know, once it goes off, everything goes silent. He kind of freaks a little bit, so he woke me up. And I woke up, the power was off. And it was kind of a large area. I did check the outage map. It was, it's just our area, but it's a fair size. I'm pretty sure it's more than that, but it says customers affected 1,794. Crew status, dispatched, cause, pending classification. So, the estimated time restoration at 8 a.m. So, my computer was cold. I have no idea how long it was off, but my computer was cold, so it's been off for a while. And, let's say probably shortly after 6.30 it came back on. I'm not sure what happened, and yeah, I'm not sure how long it was off, but in the last year we've had more power failures than whoops than I remember any other time. It's not plugged in. I just broke my strip light again. <clears throat> The end of it's kind of sticking away from the wood a little bit. I went to push it in, but it's frozen and it went snap! Just the plastic coating on the top. So it's not waterproof anymore, but it shouldn't affect it. Okay, I was just going to test it, but my power cord's not plugged in, so I can't turn it on to test it. So I was going to go out yesterday. It was minus 12 that time. Yeah, I'm looking at a little news story down there. Millions to be impacted as major snowstorm heads towards Ontario and Quebec. How could he? <laughs> I knew it was coming. Um, one YouTube channel that I watch. I only watch the actual videos when they pertain to us specifically. It's, it's a US channel. And he does the weather forecast. Now I use his thumbnails a lot because he... He shows what's coming towards us. And he doesn't really talk about southern Ontario very much. He does talk about the Great Lakes. And his colorful map, it stops at the border. So if there's a, a storm track that's, con that's going through Ontario and then continuing through the states, you'll see that start and finish and then a blank spot in between where we are. So it's a good indication that it's obviously it's going to hit us too. So I do watch him when it pertains to us, but his thumbnails really show a lot, and that's, you know, he's showing multiple monster storms, right? <laughs> Again. So, I'm just kind of watching that. But, I just, I got into a bunch of things, and I just, I just didn't feel like going out. By the time I was actually ready to go out, I didn't feel like it anymore. But I looked at the forecast, and it looks like I guess starting Sunday night is when we're supposed to get snow. It doesn't look like a lot. Total them all together. Let's say one. We'll go with the highest. 5, 10, 13 centimeters maximum. That's less than 6 inches. That doesn't look that bad. And then last night, extreme cold warning issued. Oh, goody. Oh, goody, goody. Yeah, I look up today, and here we are. <laughs> Minus 21, a new record for this year. Uh, Weather Network had a thing up there for a few days ago. It said the coldest day on record for this year. And that was very like early morning temperatures, so I don't consider that. Um, as far as being the coldest for the day, it's like this time of day, the sun's out. You know, it's like it's close to afternoon right now. That's what I consider a daily high. Not early morning temperatures before the sun comes up, because it warmed up really quick that day. And of course, <laughs> being minus 21, 
Yeah, it's really hot in my room again. Like I said, the hot, the colder it gets outside, the warmer my bedroom gets because the heat heaters downstairs where it's colder, and it it senses a colder temperature, so the the furnace comes on more often and stays on longer, so my room gets really super hot. And unless there's a wind, that doesn't change. If there's a wind, then I get a little bit of cool air in my room. So I checked the temperature, 31 degrees. <laughs> After the last time, it, it went down to, it was hovering around the 25 degree mark, uh, for the most part. Because the temperature was warmer outside, so the furnace wasn't coming on quite as much. So my room kind of cooled off a little bit. And it got really windy one night, and my feet were actually cold. <laughs> because my feet are at the other end of the bed, where the curtains open a little bit, where Smokey lays in it. So, a little bit of a breeze coming through the window itself. Or I should say through the window frame, not actually through the window. And of course, I woke up when I woke up today. I had other things. I had two more text scams. One of them: click A to see transfer notification sent by text. Um, so is this. <laughs> and how do I click A? Makes no sense. And another one. This is an automated message from Netflix. If you have not already verified your account, please do so now. Failure to update the required details may re may results in your account being permanently terminated. Oh, so if I don't update, I can never have a Netflix account again? Permanently terminated. Yeah, they want my money, they won't do that. Use the secured link below to update your information. And it's got Netflix support dot dash club fake um I know these are scams anyways because I don't have a Netflix account never have never will so that means nothing to me so I kind of wish I didn't realize I knew it was going to be cold today I didn't realize it was going to be as cold as it actually is so I kind of wish I did go out yesterday I don't want to be out today it's too cold <laughs> take these off now. I had to sit here for a bit and wait for these to warm up because they fogged up as soon as I put them on. So I'm just going to William Mart, grab a few things and Timmy's coming back home. That's all I'm doing today. Uh, it's just too cold for me. <laughs> and the minus 20s is way too cold for me. Yeah. But it's that time of year. Um, I forgot something. I think I'll put these back on again. Regarding the future, and I forgot to mention this, because it was kind of outside my subject. <clears throat> Where did it go? Today's temperature, minus 21. You look down at the bottom there. Major snowstorm threatens Ontario with 30 plus centimeters travel implications. That's a foot of snow, guys. Another foot of snow coming. And when I looked at the 14 day forecast, like I say, add them all together, it's like 13 centimeters. So 13 and 30 are two completely different things. <laughs> anyway, I'll go out and grab some stuff and come back home and go back in where it's warm. I forgot to put my neck protector on. So what I'm going to do, if I can find them, get the ties on my sweater here. I just tie up my sweater ties. That'll help keep the cold air from going down my neck. Yeah. And it looks nice out. It doesn't look like there's any breeze or anything today, so I shouldn't have a problem with the air going in behind my coat zipper flap thingy covers. Anyway, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching.
not too bad. I need new back tires to get kind of bald, but <laughs> other than that, not bad. Put together, let me know. I'll help you. In tonight's Fact or Fiction, we're looking into a story that caught our eye. It claims a new study has found face masks make people look more attractive. And it's true. Researchers at Cardiff University in Britain showed participants images of people with and without a mask. The ones wearing a surgical mask were rated the best looking, followed by a cloth mask. The researchers say pre-pandemic masks were associated with disease, but that's no longer the case. Also, other studies have shown covering half the face made people look more attractive because the brain fills in the missing gaps and exaggerates how good it looks. It's a sign of the times during the coronavirus pandemic. A new survey reveals what many may have already realized over the past couple of years. Wearing a mask may make you more attractive. Researchers at Cardiff University asked 43 women to rank men's faces with or without a mask on. Results revealed faces were considered more attractive when covered by a medical face mask, more specifically the blue ones. Some possible reasons associating masks with healthcare workers or other caring or medical professions, hiding undesirable features and drawing attention to the eyes. There you have it. It's a good survey. Good to know. So what do you think, guys? Do I like a hat with a mask? <laughs> you know, half my face is covered. There's a lot of imagination there. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. It's supposed to be even better with a surgical mask. What do you think? <laughs> That's not something I ever thought I would ask. So I'm getting sent out again. Um, I have to go do some shopping for somebody. And the temperature's actually warmed up a little bit. <laughs> warmed up to minus 15. Uh, just before I come out, we got another extreme cold warning. So I'm guessing that's for tonight. <clears throat> Overnight, because... Well, I guess tomorrow I think the high was minus 13 when I looked at the 14-day forecast. So yeah, one more cold day. Um, poor Zach. He went to do some shopping tonight. Apparently his car quit on him three, three or four times in Tim Hortons drive through That's as far as he got. And he started blowing smoke out of his car. He said he was blowing white smoke, so my first thought was, you know, his coolant isn't up to snuff. And he had ice in his coolant or something, and he blew a frost plug because white smoke to me sounds like coolant in the in the uh, getting burnt with the fuel. But no, he he said he went right straight to the shop, parked his car there, and he popped the hood up, and apparently he blew a turbo. <laughs> He's not a happy camper right now. I don't blame him. He's he got his car back. It's been. I guess a week. Yeah, and now he's going to be without a car again for a little while. I just hop in there. I know what it's like. And unfortunately, I'm going through the same thing with the monster <laughs> in periods. You know, runs great for a while, and then all of a sudden everything just starts breaking on it all at once. And then everything's good for a while. It's just, I get it. I know what it's like. But it's different for me. It, uh, the monster's convenience. It's it's fun. It's a way to get out. He needs his car to get to work. You know, it's a slightly different situation. And <clears throat> he does have coworkers that come pick him up when he doesn't have his vehicle running. So at least he's got that. So, but I know it's frustrating. I totally get it. 
So I'll get hit out again. I gotta go to Foodland. Gotta remember that. Not volume art. <laughs> so instead of going down to the hill here, I gotta go that way. Actually, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna stop at Max first and grab my milk. Cause I'll have room. I, I gotta get. I got. I need to get a case of pop, and that won't fit in my backpack. Well, I guess it could. So I put that on the floor. <clears throat> so that leaves me room. And my backpack for a jug of milk. Yeah. If I maneuver things, it's possible I might be able to get both. I'll see. I'll have to see when I get there. So, anyway, it's cold. I really don't like going out a second time. It, it takes so long to get prepared to go out right now. That's my biggest issue. Plus, this is the time where I'm kind of winding down and, you know, hour and a half, two hours from now is when I start thinking of bedtime, so. Unfortunately, this is going to wake me up a bit. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll get go and get me some nighttime footage, I guess.